Naughty Dog game, um, please um, don't, you know, make us like the last Naughty Dog game, guys. It was Kizaru. He was like, if Kizaru wasn't an absolute bungle nut, maybe he would have made my set, maybe he would have made a fleet out roll. I've learned that Uncharted games are way more fun on easy because I can ignore the stupid cover shooting mechanics and just play fucking Superman. See, that was an example of a bungle nut move. It's real, you're a real bungle nut. You're bungling that up. Die. Die. Shut up and die. Hello! Okay. Don't have to tell me twice. However, In fairness, that's a girl's normal reaction to me. <laughs> I was kind of thinking, I was like, you know, I didn't li like Uncharted 1. Uncharted 2 I didn't like either, but it was a lot better. It's an improvement. Like, maybe Uncharted 3, maybe this will be the one. Maybe they keep improving it. And nope. it starts so fucking boring. Maybe it gets better. And, like, the, the last chapter was actually pretty fun. But it starts insanely boring. I'm like, Uncharted should be starting with fucking cool action. Like, I know the crazy plane sequence is in this game. Where you're flying off the back of the plane when the movie fucking steals. Like, why don't you start with that? Just show us up. What are these bungle nuts doing in here? Meanwhile, uh, Heath and Ray are just gonna be like, what the what fuck are they fuck talking about? What? <laughs> you guys are just like, you're like cracking up. I love, I love the idea of that. Okay, where just the fuck am I at? No worries. His, the new insult that Alanek drops on on Dalgrek is just a calling him a bungle nut. Oh. Did you go the long way and then you died before you could actually get Derek? I saw yep. him kneel down and I thought I had killed him, so I stopped firing. <laughs> I'll be there in a minute, Eric. I am depleting the homeless population. I am doing my public service. They're not homeless. They're out for the hunt. Well, they're hunting they're you homeless. because you're a beast. Well, now they're homeless. Okay. Now they're just dead. Yeah. And now their home can be repopulated. It can be repurposed for the homeless. I'm helping. I always do the spinny thing. It's like my signature. The helicopter dick? Yeah. I don't think that's the context, but we'll go with it anyway. It's exactly what I mean. It's now I try to pick up girls. <laughs> well, sir, if you just go up to a girl and say, hey, baby, and you just, you know... It doesn't work very well with pants. If you can <laughs> generate enough force with the helicopter to pick up chicks, I don't want to know. Like, physically pick up chicks? Well yeah. I mean, I'm taking everything for literal word from Jonathan at this point. Oh no, it's 100% literal. <laughs> oh dude, I don't remember what video we fucking recorded for Cody's channel. But there was a video we recorded for Cody's channel, because I remember this distinctly, because it was so fucking stupid. And I, we were joking about me having a giant schlong. <laughs> I meant to say inches, and I dropped feet. I was like, yeah man, with my 14 foot cock. I was like, wait, hold up. <laughs> I think I do remember that. I don't know if that made the cut or not. Just remember I was talking about that, and you'd be like, "Do you wrap it around like a belt?" And I'm like, "No, it's like trap. It's like a fucking overalls." <laughs> How do you think my keep my pants up, suspender dick? Just, just remember saying mm -hmm. that. And you're like, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> just we have to get enough subs so we can pay for his wiener reduction surgery so John can live a normal life. <laughs> you, guys, you guys have heard of breast reductions? I need my wiener cut in half. That, <laughs> if it's 14 long. feet long, you need to get more than a minute and a half, my guy. Uh, wait, what am I doing? I was I doing the Macarena? <laughs> <laughs> a thousand subs and we'll show his 14 foot cock on. I'm just giving me enough time and money to buy Photoshop. <laughs> just, it's just gonna be a picture of a chicken. It's just gonna be a picture of a really big chicken. <laughs> what you guys think I meant? This is this is Poke Monster Hunter. <laughs> this is me. This is my Draco. This is my Dracoki armor. When are, when are we getting Pokemon Dark Souls? Dude, I I'm. I have said it uh, once. I've said it a million times. I'm so I so wish. Nintendo a game where you could put Capcom a partner and just be like, Poke Monster Hunter. You're not killing them, you're 
you're knocking them out, you're still taking the armor. Like, tell me that hunting down Kurem wouldn't be cool. Yeah, and I want to see you scalp him room. and put his head on your his skull on your head. Yes, give me a skull, give me a Kuramax. I want to see like Rayquaza. Like you, you kill Mega Rayquaza and you use its skull to make your axe. Ah, uh, yes, game. It's really fun. We take my my ability to sprint. I love slow walking for no reason. Out of all of like the. "Quote unquote, just normal humans, no, no superpowers, no, nothing special." Is Nathan Drake like the most superhuman normal person in any fiction? Batman. Uh, I don't I know. No the, idea. the beatings that Nathan Drake takes. Batman. Max Payne. Maybe. Maybe Batman. You're gonna leave out Max Payne. Eh, doesn't this math pain is that all that special? Doesn't he just shoot some dudes? No, he he basically runs off of adrenaline and gets his ass kicked all the fucking time. Yeah, I've actually I never played the game, so Did they make a movie? They did, I saw the movie. Couldn't tell you anything about it. But I watched it. But Eric, so you know how I made the joke before, but I'm gonna make it again because it's always funny the second time. Um, you know how you've been doing drunk souls? What? You know how you've been doing drunk souls? Yes. When are we getting Everclear Elden Ring? Uh, if I choose to murder myself, sure. <laughs> but that's what you're supposed to be doing to the enemies. Take a shot of Everclear every time one of you guys die. It'll be funny. I'll show you a white arc. Not as white as mine. I mean, yeah, you... I'm about to turn to the left. <laughs> you have a 14-foot limp penis. Like It's going to make a couple arcs. Yeah, it's... In the words of Vegeta, I'm about to turn to the left. <laughs> I don't want to hit you with it when I turn. Oh, no. oh giant yeah. ass birds, my only weakness. It's the pig. Yeah, now. I don't see the fuzz. So it's if like... you want to, you can run past the pig and go up the stairs. Do you want to do that? Listen, man, I don't care. Did you guys beat Daddy already? No. no we're trying to get there. So he's er gonna Eric's having thing. me fight a pig first. No, we go around the pig. When I edit this video, I'm going to take all references of you guys actually playing Bloodborne out of it and just fucking keeping everything else. <laughs> Did you really want to kill a pig? No. Oh, hi! This dude's like ready to go out the gate. Are you, are you fighting daddy now? Yes. So does he have more health points? Yes, he will. Yeah. Dude, yeah, fuck is bullshit. So here oh, I yes. am, getting older all the time, feeling younger all the time, and younger in my mind. Oh, oh he hit a visceral. Well, I'm sorry, I was winding up before you stunned him. Ow, ow, ow. You just died. Yes, because he chained me. But I got him, though. <laughs> it does, still counts, bitches. Does that count? It yep. does. Yeah, because he chained me. He took out my entire bar of health at once. Have you tried not sucking ass? Oh, well, I mean, I don't have to. I'm 14 foot. <laughs> Thanks, Jonathan. I'm 6 foot 4 inches. Those are two measurements. 5 inches, buddy. You know like uh, how some people have a tootsie roll? Yeah, I have a tic-tac. So you had a 14 footer. I may not hit the bottom, but I'll fuck the sides up. Okay, guys, that, that's solve an argument right here. Yes, absolutely yes, because my wife takes clothes off in combinations, so I have to take everything apart. So she'll have leggings because she'll get cold at work going in and out of the freezer, or just in general, and I have to separate her clothes from, so her pants and her leggings from the same thing, and her socks, and I always check pockets because she likes to leave receipts and stuff in there. Right, well, I'm saying, whose job is it to check pockets? The person who puts it in the hamper, or the person who puts it in the dryer? Washer. Washer. It's the person, the person who actually takes the pants off is supposed to do it. Yes. But is the secondary, you check it before it goes into the washer. Okay. Eric says it's the person who puts in the hamper's job, but the other person should check as yes. well. But the primary person is one person hamper. Yes. 
You never check. And you always blame me. I know. I don't ever not check. I just, you know, I know when I didn't check. And then I, you're supposed to double check. No. You I, are the check person before. The I'm just piling clothes in, putting soap in, and moving on. Discount no. double check. It's not my job.